Hello to invite this up, my name is Death Kill. Ignore the shit that I said before. Um, I just remembered the song Dead Horse um jo from Joker. <sighs> Doing the same thing that he did before he started dissing. And yeah. I followed his path. Shit. And I said, I apologize, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, ah. Uh. So, uh, sorry, Melissa, for saying that. I did not. I'm sorry. And if you want to know this song that I was talking about, it'll be like somewhere over here and in the description. I fucked up. And some of you are probably like, some of you are probably like, oh, you think? Yeah, I know. And you can hear the song right here if you want. I reached out when my homie low key found him online. He blew my mind with his rhymes. He sounded sublime. He showed me I wasn't the only one down for the grind. We kept in touch and grew closer as the time went on. Till we became best friends and the bond was strong. Sitting up and just straight talking like from nine to dawn. Our mutual struggle to be heard, to find our bond. He was the only one who understood what it was like to struggle and strife. To make a name, juggle in life. Trying to become something bigger than some regular guys. Like eagles with our wings pinned, trying to spread them and fly. We kept our friends. Ship secret as a joke in the plot that we reveal it in this new video that I shot. But when the video dropped and I saw he cut all my parts, it felt like I had a damn dagger stuck in my heart. But it's a dead horse. Now. It's really been too Step nine is straight, one of the dopest rappers alive. I won't lie, some of them crazy delivery patterns are fly. And on a personal level, he ain't that bad of a guy. I was a big fan of him right out of the gate. I first heard text written in 2008. Flipping through MySpace, I came across night and day from ever ready. Played it and was like, wow, that was great. He had the rhymes, had the speed, had the harmony down. And Rob Reed back on the mix with the barbarous sound. The stage show was straight nuts, no matter the spot. So as a rapper, you can imagine how happy I got when I got invited. To meet him in Santa Barbara that day And it drove like 800 miles at $80 a tank And spent my whole check to show tech A couple of songs But got kicked off for the bus Cause the game was on What is this dead horse town? Can we all just pull What is this dead horse town? We've been to it What is this dead horse town? Feeling like it's time that we all just leave it Strange, but looking back, my perspective wasn't all that pertained. I've done a lot of growing up in the past two years. So as a man, here's a couple things I ask you here. All I ever really wanted was the love of a friend who could relate to my struggle and thus was akin, along with the validation from professional peers to whom I looked up to justify the stress in my tears. So when I felt hot betrayed me, it cut me deep. And getting kicked off of the bus hurt enough to weep. So when my situation got bleak, I hatched me a ploy to throw a fit and lash out like a sad little boy. It wasn't Tax fault. His manager treated me bad, but I dissed him for the buzz that I seen that he had. And in the process, I flipped off a legend of rap and made a horrible impression I could never get back. Now with my homie Hop, it was even deeper than that. The bond we shared, I should have worked to keep it intact, but instead I let my anger overcome me and snap and rip the gash in between us too rugged to pass. But it wasn't just that, I trashed every one of his acts and hit Swizz with the labyrinth redundant attacks and used my whole platform as a big bullhorn and turned to once pure friend. Friendship, ugly and black And even though I might have felt validated inside I wasn't gracious, I reacted out of anger and pride And at the same time stigmatized my name And defamed the notoriety I tried to gain And tried to blame other people for a course of events I could have stopped from even happening before it commenced And ever since, I've lost fans, lost respect Lost any chance to ever do a song with 
Tech lost the best friend, pissed off most of his fans Lost potential opportunities to grow in advance And I was speaking on God while digging the grave In a vast misappropriation of the gifts that he gave I was blind with the justice and redemption I craved But I never stopped to think about the picture displayed I made myself look small as an infant and paved The trail of my own destruction with the bricks that I laid So listen to Dame, Hot Tech, Squiz in the game Hop up in Chris Calico with Dizzy the same I'm ashamed of all the dirt that I kicked on your names I was hurt and lashed out when you were fit for the plane So I apologize, it's simple and plain There's no excuse for it, I was sinful and vain I acted out my bitter anger as a vent for the pain And ignored the same message I was sent to proclaim And to the fans, listen, all that I ask Is if you're in the same position, don't follow my path Any punk can start swinging when the gauntlet is cast But it takes a real man to sit back and swallow the wrath And even if you don't deserve it, just take it and chill Cause people hurt you as a symptom of the pain that they feel And probably from somebody hurt and them the way they did you And the cycle will continue till the hatred is through So if you got somebody out there and you know who they are If you really cared about who left you heartbroken and scarred It might be time to swallow that pride and punch in the call And put it into that sick cycle once and for all But even if it feels like it's beyond repair Fixing your half's the only thing you call to bear But unless you try, you'll never know And who can be mad? One day you two can look back like, yeah, it used to be bad But it's a dead horse now It's a dead horse now Take that first step to make it right. Holding on to anger and hatred is cancerous. And understanding and forgiveness is the only cure. Yeah, so there you go. Um, so I'll see you guys later. See you later in the dark. Oh, oh, oh.